Yeah, there's a Horizon Canopy in the mana base because we're playing kind of a high land count. So Horizon Canopy is land that you can cycle. And Horizon Canopy can also trigger your, your Terminus on their turn. So we have we have 18 blue sources in our mana base and like four four of the non-blue sources are field of rune so they're like pseudo blue sources so I think the one horizon canopy is fine. I'm basically playing everything in friendly leagues these days master. Basically everything three twos for the most part and like on the off chance that we two three it doesn't burn as many play points sticking in the friendly leagues. After playing a ton of friendly and competitive leagues, the play caliber is really about the same. The quality of decks is very similar. Is the Rising Canopy be better than just running Irrigated Farmland? I think so, Shadow Popo. Just because, like, this is a mana-hungry control deck that wants to hit seven lands. So, like, I really only want to be cycling this Rising Canopy when I'm past that point or need a Terminus. And we, we have 24 lands, but like we have four copies of Opt. We have Ancestral Visions that eventually draw us more cards. So like, I think 24 is a good number of lands. Use any sound dampening or stuff in your setup to cut down on reverb? No, I don't actually. I had intended to at some point, but I just never got around to it. I don't think the audio is too bad though. The, the, the Blue Yeti microphone is very good or the Blue Snowball or whatever this is. I think it's a Yeti. Yeti sounds right. The Yeti is just a quality piece of hardware. It's like the industry standard for like standing desk microphones. What if you could do a draft where people voted with bits for which card to pick? That might be tough with delay. That would be a funny way to do it though. Chat, you don't understand how to play decks like this in Modern. We're really good against the fair deck, so I want to make sure we dumpster them by having a bunch of Ancestral Visions. Yeah, I agree, Extras. Like, after, like, playing more than one competitive league in a row where I ran into five decks that were basically just all brews and then playing a friendly league where I played against four out of five tier one modern decks. Like it's all pretty much the same. The, the, the big difference between friendly and competitive leagues is that the people that really care about qualifier points and the people who are degenerate gamblers, those are the people playing the competitive leagues because the, the risk is higher in the competitive leagues. All right, I'm gonna play the island here since I don't have a three drop anyways. I don't know that they necessarily have a, a two drop that I care about negating, but just in case they do. Oh, I didn't hear the beep beep from the AV dumpster truck. <laughs> All right, chat, do you believe in miracles? Do you believe? I believe in miracles. Beep do. Beep beep do. Beep do. Yeah, I have I have the pill shaped one. That's the Yeti. How do you feel about Gorio's gifts? I think it's really clunky and not particularly good. I think I'm just going to trade a Snapcaster Mage for two points of damage here. Just like play this as a blue Doom Blade, basically. That connects to a desktop application and lets people. Do Seriously? That's a thing? That's hot. Um, that's beautiful artwork. I like that a lot. Huh. Is Jace just gonna be a brainstorm gain some health here? Maybe. I'm just gonna pass here. 
Nah, shock costs one mana. Doomblade costs two. Yeah, I could scry first, that's true. This is probably gonna be a company or a cord in response to this. Nope, deal. Yep. So he says, that's not a terminus. Um, I think at this point I'm pretty obligated to cash this in. Jace Architect of Thought, looking better than Bide Sculptor again, right? That's unfortunate. Um, I guess I really don't want to draw this approach for a while. I guess I'm kind of close to the approach. You're playing a game of legacy, lose your wallet. Yeah, but Justin, if I drew the Terminus off the Cryptic Command, I could just put it back with Jace the following turn. So by using the Cryptic Command first, I get two card deeper before I brainstorm, which is appealing, I think. That's a lot of damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You are watching the first game of the first match. I assume this is smashing the Mind Sculptor. Man, I would, oh, these are all, I wish I had a path to punish this. It's a real shame I don't. All right, so I get to bottom. We get how many looks at a Terminus? We get our draw step plus snap opt to draw Terminus. So we get uh, three looks at a Terminus here. And obviously we snap opt on their turn. Um, so I'm gonna play this land. If I, as foretold, I can't snap opt into Terminus, so I'm just passing here. Oh, I guess I can, I can Snapcaster Cryptic. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better, actually. I'm gonna Snapcaster Cryptic, tap their team, bounce my Snapcaster Mage. And then the and then that gives me another draw step plus. So it lets me get one more card deeper that way. Gideon's not another turn. Enchanted land is every basic land type in addition to its other what? I Oh, that's cute. It makes it makes their creatures unblockable. That's adorable. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just clicked through it. Oh, I was just I was so excited about how adorable that was that I clicked through it. Tilt. All right, turn off. It's fine. It's fine. It, it gives us one less draw to Terminus is what, what, it, what it does. It gives us one less draw to Terminus. So it's fine. There's a Terminus on top of our deck chat. It's fine. There's a Terminus on top of our deck. Nope. Is the next card Terminus? The next card is Terminus. My misclick cost us. It was not. Turns out, ter <laughs> where, where is my Terminus? I was really excited when they were playing Elves because this is a matchup where Terminus, holy shit, just, where is it? Where, where is the Terminus, chat? Where, where are my Terminuses? Are they, are, did, this is game one. There's four of the, there we go. All right. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to recover. It's cool. All right. Supreme verdict and settle the wreckage. Get in my deck. Uh, this is probably not good enough. The gate's probably not good enough. 
And Dispel's probably fine. I guess these AVs are pretty bad. I mean, I can leave a couple in because I have the as foretold. I don't think any of the rest of these cards are particularly exciting. Blessed Alliance is pretty terrible too. All right, let's do this. Actually, I'm gonna leave some, I'm gonna leave the negates in because they almost certainly have collected company and our deck with, with Terminus being our sweeper, we can sweep their board plus have counter magic up. I don't think Spell Queller is quite good enough, especially in a matchup where we're like boarding in more sweepers. Well, I am firmly ready to never draw a third land and die here, chat, but I will. I, I'll i be damned if I'm going to mulligan the hand with three sweepers and as foretold. Punted MTG with the three-month tier one resubscription. Thank you very much and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. When are we four mana carning, folks? Brad Brown, thank you for the three-month resubscription. Uh, that's a good question. I feel like I should make a point to do that at some point this week. Maybe some of my dealer's choice decks that we have in the queue will be will be carding people. I think that's a not an unreasonable thing. Yeah, that's that's actually I almost talked about that Dark Goyf mystic. Playing the AV is better in case we miss on land, but you could maybe make the argument that if I miss on my third land, I'm not winning the game regardless. So like I could have played this and then cast this this turn, which makes me more likely to hit four land. So like if I hit three lands holding the AV makes me more likely to hit four. It also saves me two points of health, which is meaningful. We want a Terminus or an untapped land here, ideally. I guess it even needs to be an untapped white source, huh? Like basic island's not good enough. Am I dead? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm right, you're taking nine? The second Lord kill us. Yeah, wow. It's a tough beat. All right, so... If I was plus three cards, it wouldn't have even mattered, right? Because this was just another colorless source. You wouldn't be able to cast my double white spells. It's a little rough. It's a little rough. Turns out, don't interact with your opponent for... Four turns, they kill you on the fourth turn of the game. Weird. Weird. Need to interact in the first four turns of the game, apparently. Turns out... <sighs> There should be a Mystic Gate in our deck. Just a filter land somewhere. These white, white cards. I'm getting to the Trials too, which makes Mystic Gate more appealing. We have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I only have 12 white sources. Yeah, there should probably be a Mystic Gate in the deck. All right. So... For the people that are talking about Sea Chrome Coast and just, I timed out a couple people in chat and for people that aren't aware, if you're gonna tell me a card I'm playing is, what we're playing is bad or dumb, you gotta, you gotta be specific. You gotta provide feedback and say Sea Chrome Coast is bad and then explain yourself, articulate yourself, put on your big kid pants, use your words for me. Um, Here's my defense of the two copies of Sea Chrome Coast that we're playing. I cut two copies of Celestial Colonnade. Most blue-white decks are playing four lands that always come into play tapped. This deck is playing two lands that always come into play tapped and two lands that sometimes come into play tapped. So I'm playing Sea Chrome Coast over the other two copies of Celestial Colonnade because I felt that having copies of Approach in my deck meant that I needed fewer creature lands as win conditions. Now you could, if you wanted to be reasonable and articulate yourself and say, hey, Jeff, 
I really don't like Sea Chrome Coast. Maybe if you wanted to play less Colonnades, you could play Glacial Fortress because it would come into play tapped on the later turns and you really want your fourth land to play, come into play untapped. That's a good example of being a constructive and helpful member of chat. But just, just like pound on your keyboard and let me know what you think a card we were playing is stupid or bad. That's not helpful or constructive. Prairie Shame's another card that could be reasonable too. Deck has a lot of basic lands in it. I think we're going to be dead here. And this is this is just like a pretty good clean cut example of like modern control deck problems. Like I've kept a hand here with two negates in it. And like my opponent's playing a deck where negate basically doesn't have a text box. So I've drawn the cards in my deck that are not particularly good here. The upside to this de particular deck against Voice of Resurgence is that Terminus does tuck Voice nicely. So if we're a real lucker here, we'll be able to just hit a Terminus this turn. We've been very bad so far at drawing, at drawing Terminus. I think I'm just gonna fog with the Cryptic Command this turn. I'm a big fan. I don't like really, I'm not really a big fan of the traditional blue white control in modern. I don't think, I don't think um, blue white control is a particularly good deck because I don't think it's doing anything that's overly powerful. I think playing a card like Terminus gives you something that's pretty powerful to be doing. Come on, big sweeps. God, we are running bad today. Am I dead on board with a blocker? Block here, take one, two, three, four, nine, eleven. I'm, ex I'm exactly dead. I think if you're going to play a non fetchable white source, it's probably. Glacial Fortress or um, what are the words I'm searching for? Glacial Fortress or Mystic Gate are probably the ones we're most interested in having in our deck. <sighs> Sim piece probably isn't good enough here. I'm just going to submit like this. I mean, Rev Ann, if you weren't a sub, I'd time you out for that comment. Like, like we've literally played against two creature decks in a row, and, like, that first game there is just, like, what's going to happen when you're playing an interactive deck? Like, we had negates, our opponent was playing no negate target, so, like, it was awkward. Like, even that game, I think, I think that game actually represented, like, why Terminus is a powerful card. Like, our draw was terrible, and our cards lined up poorly, but if we drew a Terminus that game, we were going to be very, very in the game, even though our draw was completely rancid. Um, I think Terminus is actually a very powerful card in Modern right now. And Terminus is a great card. Tom, I gather, I am approaching the second sun or year. Thank you for the 22-month resub. Welcome back. I do appreciate that. It's everybody who's hanging here. Everyone's having a great Monday. Hope people in other parts of the country are experiencing great weather in the 60s here in the cornfields in the Midwest where I reside. It's kind of nice having good weather for a change. I think a prairie stream is like a fine, fetchable, non pain land. Like, the Sea Chrome Coast could be Glacial Fortresses, or they could be Mystic Gates. You could, there's probably, you could probably argue I don't need quite as many basic islands as we currently have. Sand seems okay. I 
I mean, the Grace doesn't let us win that game. I think playing a card like Grace in the main deck is pretty terrible, Justin. I think Grace is good against, like, explicitly burn and not anything else, really. Like, using Grace is... Like... Casting a card that says gain six health against a creature aggressive deck is actively bad. You're just like barely fogging for a turn. No, I think I, I, I'd i rather as foretold and then play visions. Although this is obviously, this is a spell queller, right? I guess I'm just gonna slam the as foretold anyways since we have verdict. I finished in the top 1,000 of the Open at Milwaukee. As a heads up, you can always look at the standings of an Open yourself. On SCG's coverage page, you can look and see the final standings of anyone that played in a tournament. There's plenty of cards that fog in Modern, but like casting the card fog isn't really a winning game plan. I guess it's okay if you're building up to a Terminus, but there's also like... Like I said, like we talked about the wrong half problem. There's only so much room for cards that are only gonna line up against certain strategies in modern and fog and terminus. Like these are all cards that only line up against creature based decks. If someone's bringing in damping sphere against my blue white control deck, I'm okay with mystic gate not working. Damping sphere is a really bad card against blue white control in general. Unified Will, that's a pretty good one. You and me both, Rogue. So, so far, the only Terminuses we've drawn this game have been in our opening hand. I'll never forget, I was at an SCG Open one time, and I walked over and I was looking at a match, and it was, uh, it was Jeskai Control versus uh, Green Red Titan Breach. And both players had Graftigger's cage on the table. And I like, I just like looked at it and I was like, man, one of you two really messed up. I'm not, I'm not sure which one of you messed up more, but one of you is certainly wrong if you both have Graftigger's cage in play. Yeah, I agree with that. I like I like field of running these decks a lot too. In fact, I probably should have fielded this a little bit aggressively, right? Although actually, do I want to field? Yeah, I probably want to field the Kessig Wolf run, right? Let's just thin my deck, get another blue source here so we can cryptic next turn, maybe. And again, like this is what I mentioned about like earlier when we when we went three two with the legends decks talking about like being realistic about the results you're having like and this is why when people when I ask them how a deck they're testing is doing and they just tell me their results in Magic Online leagues I'm like no I don't want to know your record I want to know like how does the deck feel what's working what's not working because believe it or not not drawing a terminus across four games against two creature decks that are probably not necessarily good matchups but okay matchups that's that's below the average on variance not drawing our fourth land constantly that's below the average on variance like being able to distinguish which games you're losing because your deck was built poorly or underperformed and which games you're losing just because like that's magic the gathering and you're just going to lose games like that sometimes it's important to be able to distinguish that in your results like i can't tell you the number of times like I'm playing a deck on Magic Online or even in a tournament, and I'm like, well, I top aided the IQ. I lost in the finals. My record on the day was like eight and two, but this deck is terrible and I will never play it again. Like the number of times that like I've I've had that happen is just like, well, 
we ran good, we hit good matchups, but this deck, I will actually never play it again because it was really bad. I don't know if I need approach as a win condition. That's one of the reasons why we're playing games of magic. I think, um, I think as foretold, like I always talk about when we're making changes to deck lists on this stream, I think as foretold works to solve problems that blue white control kind of has as a deck, which is it doesn't have closing power once it's interacted with its opponent a whole bunch. So I'm interested in from that aspect. Yes, yeah, so someone asked about As Foretold. As Foretold makes your Ancestral Visions castable, which is nice. It also, the idea of As Foretold is if you stick one early, you can kind of like be using your mana every turn and eventually cast Approach through it. Gotta, you gotta use your words. Terminus feels too cute because be an adult. Engage, articulate. Here's here's my articulation in the opposite direction. I think Terminus is very reasonable because in the matchups where you want an effect like Terminus or Supreme Verdict in Modern, you generally want to be casting it as soon as as soon as possible every single time. You're generally not holding them because they're killing you that quickly. And Terminus is the type of card that not only catches a control deck up in really bad situations, but it also lets you not fall behind again because when it caught you up, it didn't use up every land you have in play to catch you up. Actually, I actually, I, I, I certainly don't think all the details in this blue-white deck are correct, but I think Terminus is an exceptionally powerful card in modern right now. I think in general, Terminus is an exceptionally powerful card in modern right now. Is there really that the only variance associated with Terminus compared to something like Supreme Verdict is that? you um you have it in your opening hand but the flip side of that is terminus is going to win you games that supreme verdict couldn't because terminus is going to clear the board before you could even cast a supreme verdict yeah it's very and terminus gives you an extra hedge against cards like voice of resurgence and and blood gas and flame wake phoenix Has there, have we played any games today where I wouldn't have just cast Terminus as soon as we drew it? Because like people are talking about like the timing restrictions making Terminus bad. Honestly, if you wanted to give constructive feedback, one of the things thinking about is like Terminus is much worse with ancestral vision because i'm like i'm gonna draw three cards here and um i'm gonna draw three cards and like if one of them is a terminus we're not gonna get to miracle it right i don't think i so i didn't i didn't ambush the leonin arbiter there because i think i need a sweeper to win this game anyways so wow we are exceptionally bad at drawing the card we really want to draw huh just exceptionally bad at it. Hey, but again, like, I disagree with your sentiment that you're going to, like, the games in Modern where you want sweepers, where you want to draw cards that clear the board, you want to cast them as soon as possible, almost all of the time. I think we've got nine coming across here. I'm just going to take this hit. We'll be dead to a bolt. And again, like, and this is something that I think a lot of people fall into a lot of the time too. Like, 
blue white control is an established like tier 2.5 tier 3 tier 2 whatever you want to call it deck in modern there's a reason why the current iterations of blue white control are not tier one or one of the better decks in modern and if you just sit there and keep doing the same thing over and over again that keeps the deck locked in to being that tier two deck in modern you're never going to improve it you're never snapping flashing and snapcaster mage doesn't hedge against lightning bolt if i block with the snapcaster mage i go down to three health which is still dead to snap which is still dead to lightning bolt All right, so this basically has to be Terminus on the top of our deck here. Oh, I suppose it could also be in the top two on their turn, right? If Cryptic Command by a turn here too. I don't have time for these paths right maybe i want them for the clean up the aether vials after i terminus right are you sure you put terminus in the deck that's that's the real question current current signs are pointing to terminus might might not have made its way into the deck What's up, PN Kieran Alar? Hazard, sure. I don't care about your feelings. Like your feelings are irrelevant. Like, what does the actual practice come down to? Like there's there's a reason why there's a reason why, again, just like I feel like so many people and like as someone who like works on making changes to decks a lot of the time, that especially decks that are established archetypes, there's always piles of people that I can only describe as curmudgeons or or just sticks in the mud, whatever you want to call them. People that are just like against change of any kind for any reason. They're like, this is the way we've always done things and you can't change it. Stop trying to change things. It's like, well, maybe we should really think about why the thing you're doing isn't particularly good in the format maybe it's time maybe it's time to like try and change and do something different we have not won a game dj jedi jeff we have literally not drawn a terminus in five games of magic so far <laughs> we have played five games against creature aggro midrange decks and have gotten 20 cards deep in three of them and not had a terminus drawn if i'm not leaving gideon in against a creature deck he shouldn't be in my deck gideon is a card that makes your opponent put more creatures into play so the terminus punishes them more Disenchants, uh, disenchants a staple in blue-white control decks. These decks can't play wear tear. You need way to t ways to take enchantments off the table. And again, for people, for people, um. For people that are watching my talking about these changes and talking about Terminus, again, that's not me trying to say that this deck is built an ideal way or card choices are good. I'm just saying, if you want to make an omelet, you got to crack a few eggs. You need to you need to be willing to try something. The, the first step of improving or getting better at something is usually failing at it. And if you're not willing to fail, you're probably not going to ever succeed. Terminus is bad. Ooh, so this was actually a small mistake on my part. I should have, 
let on my fetch lands instead of my hollowed fountain because they're playing the stupid Leonin Arbiter. What does as 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 canting into terminus is slow? Can confirm currently to get omelet. Fragmentize isn't strictly better than disenchant against affinity because the fact that disenchant is an instant is relevant. Uh, donation should be working, Civ Master. Think. My alerts are all are all working. Well, that's why we're playing. That's why I've got some ads foretold. The more I think about it, the more I just think the the ancestral vision plan was just too bad, especially in conjunction with the fact that like it's a non-bow with the miracle cards that we're playing. I think I'm just passing here. Like, it's I'm just, I'm getting you out of here for your username. That username's kind of offensive. I'm not gonna address that comment. All right, let's settle the record, shall we? They could wasteland us here, or strip mine technically. They could take us off the basic island too. But this could be good or bad. I don't know. I think the idea of just like serum visions is probably what they're supposed to be. We've definitely played miracles less in the past. Uh, they have another one and then wasteland. If we get an untapped land here, Jace the Mind Sculptor coming down on a mostly empty board is pretty powerful. Yep. All right. I mean, is it really good for digging to terminus? Oh, you're you're talking about like burying non-terminus cards to miracle it, right? You're talking about the think tank side, not the back side, right? Hey, Civ Master with the five dollar nation. Glad you got it working. Five extra democracy for Burgle curses. Sounds good. I'll get that in at the end. Search for Canta does add a lot of consistency to these styles of decks, which is nice. I'm just so off. I just, just never drawing lands, never drawing terminuses. This this build of this this archetype was really bad. And the I think the ancestral visions were too clunky. The as foretold was bad. Um, I like getting into the trial still. I think I might be willing to try and approach the second son in the main deck again, but I think this this plan was bad. They should have probably just been serum visions or search for Ascanta or some some mix of those more cards that impact the board. Yeah, and it's, you know, that's, them's the beat sometimes. Like, you have to understand that Magic, Magic is a game that has variance by design. You're going, like, again, I don't think our deck, our deck was well built, or it wasn't perfect. It probably wasn't even well built by any means, but we definitely, you know, 
like I said, we had, we had six games there where we got, you know, a dozen draws into our deck without drawing a four of both times. That's just that's just how it goes sometimes. You got you to gotta roll those off. You got to move on with your life. I think Remand's a little bit mediocre. Like... You're, I guess if you're, well, like, remanding their spell to then try and terminus the board, like, that's a nonbo, right? Like, you're putting a thing back in their hand to then try and clear the board. I agree that Think Twice sounds clunky, but I don't know that I, that I believe, uh, that I believe remand sounds much better. All right. Let's, let's play something aggressive, shall we, chat? 